Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training, with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Okay, so we were uh, talking about the objects yesterday and most of you were a little bit confused on this part. So I will do one thing, I will just revise this again and then we will start with the new topic today. Okay, then we will also look into your assignments. Alright, so let's understand first of all what is object. Okay, Raji please don't open your uh, QTP for now. Okay, you can practice it later. I will give you the agent name and password everything okay all right so we have the QTP objects over here let's first understand what is the meaning of this objects objects are nothing but these are the elements of the web page or the windows application and then there are two types of object so if I take an application over here that is your flight application okay so now you got to identify the objects. Let me log in. I can enter any agent name. Password is always going to be Mercury. Okay. Now what you got to do is you got to identify the objects. Okay. Can you identify the objects from this flight reservation? Yes, what are the different objects? Okay, hold on for a moment. Okay, so here we have the different objects. Objects are nothing but the elements of the web page or the windows. Okay, it could be the date of flight. Then we have the fly from, we have the fly to, then we have this flights button, this image, this is an object. Okay, and then you have the different buttons over here. This also is an object. Okay, then we have the different menu tabs over here. 
right the file edit analysis and help these are objects okay and then we have this um, different classes the radio buttons these are the objects the progress bar is the object image is the object then this window is the object okay so anything that you take any element that you take on this window all of them are objects okay and there are two types of objects the standard object and then the customized object standard object as i said this is a predefined and then customized object is a user defined okay so i have given you the definition standard object means these are predefined okay and which are available from the source technology the definition of which we cannot change for example the fly from this is a standard object fly to is a standard object then the flight buttons do you see here update order delete order insert order all of these are standard objects okay wherein they have a common and a standard definition customized objects means these are the type of objects which are created by the programmer during the design okay these are created by the programmer during the design we call them as the customized object okay so here for the customized object we have the date of flight and how do you decide whether it is a customized or it is you know the standard object it is better you know we refer to the qtp script rather than making our own wild guesses okay instead of making our own wild guesses we can um, take the help of qtp over here to identify whether the object is customized or the standard object okay okay so now what i will do is i will record a small script okay how do we record i go to file new a new file is there and then we click on the record button then the windows application over here click on okay button but before you click on okay button make sure okay the record and run setting on the open windows application is selected okay so it is asking me to disable the tab browser option that's fine okay currently the qtp is in record mode okay i go to the start programs and then we have the qtp sample applications over here the flight reservation agent name i will enter it as priya password i will enter it as mercury and then click on okay button then enter the date of flight select the fly from then fly to click on okay button then the name of the traveler enter the number of tickets let's say 3 tickets and then select the class click on the insert order and then the order number gets generated then we click on close and then stop the execution okay so do you see we have recorded the script over here what is this first statement the first statement is nothing but your open the application all right and then you have line number 3 which is login feature and then we have the flight reservation over here okay so here we are reserving the flight okay this is your recording let me save this file i go to file and then save it as i'll save it as priya okay so this is saved all right now let's come back to our object okay so do you see here we have the standard objects and then the customized objects and all the objects will be mapped to the common i mean uh, the common thing that is class okay so whether it is a customized object or whether it is a standard object 
all of them belong to a class okay class is nothing but it is like a group okay so you take any objects all the objects are going to belong to a class okay and then the standard objects they belong to the standard class and then the customized objects they belong to the object class all right the standard objects are going to belong to the standardized object the standard class customized objects will be belonging to the object class okay all right now we will have a look at the table do you see here there is a table over here okay which has some list of the standard objects this is not a complete list but there are some of the objects over here then we have the list of standard classes and then we have the type of operations okay now i will do one thing i will open this script for you do you see on one side i have put the script for you okay and on the other side i will place this table now you got to identify what is the relationship between this table okay and the script take a look at it for 2 minutes and try to find out what is the relationship between this script and the table if you are able to figure out this then all the questions that you are posting here okay then how to identify and you know what are the examples for um, the different types of objects okay what is the class what is the operation everything will become clear to you okay just try to observe the script and then the table try to establish a relationship between them okay take 2 minutes observe it and then i will explain it again okay okay so what are we observing over here okay do you see that we have um the agent name okay what is agent name it is a text box right to which class is it belonging edit class do you see here it is prefixed with edit and then the type of operation that we can perform means in the text box we can set the value or we can type the value this is the type of operation okay do you see here we have set okay then we have this fly from what is this a combo box right and this belongs to a class called as combo box which is here what can we do with the combo box the type of operation we can select so select is here okay so basically a combo box will have what the list of options from where you know we can do the selection right so here we have the select and then we have the check box okay so here basically there is no check box but there is a radio button okay business is what it was the radio button so it belongs to the class called as radio button it is prefixed with the radio button here and then we have the set of operation we can set it as on and off do you see we have a set then we have the insert order what is it this is a button okay so this button is here which is prefixed then what operation can we perform click so we can click on it okay so if we have to arrive at a common formulation then we can write it in this way so we have the name of the object which is in the double quotes in the bracket so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers Also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side 
Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.